Welcome back all to another week of Mortgage Matters in Minutes. I know it's Friday over the lunch hour, but uh, this week has been a holiday week and a little short, and we've had a very busy and productive week. So we're coming to you live on Friday, something a little different than we usually do, which is on Tuesday. So hopefully today you get a chance to check us out. If you're not around on Tuesday afternoons, we do our regular Mortgage Matters in Minutes sponsored by Mortgage Specialists, and I'm Brent Rasmussen. So Today, what we're going to speak about is what is my price? What is my value? What is my house worth? What is all these different numbers people speak about when it comes to the value of my home? And words that get thrown out a lot interchangeably that are used exactly the same, uh, but they all have different meanings, are sales price versus the appraisal, versus the assessed value, versus the replacement cost. All those numbers can be different, and all those numbers are confusing many days to a buyer, a seller, a homeowner, because they all know it means some kind of valuation. It means that what my house is worth, or priced at, or the asset is worth that, but they all mean something different. So we're gonna cover those different topics today. And the first one we're gonna speak about today is what is the sales price? So a sales price is what a home is being asked to be purchased at. And if the offer does get accepted, that ends up being the final sales price, what they buy the home for. So I would say normally uh, that starts and they're very close together um, in normal markets, like we've seen the last five years, which has been kind of a hot market the price can be higher than the sales price of what they buy it for. It might start at 100,000 and it goes to 110,000 or 300 goes to 320. Or in more negative markets like we saw in 2007, 8, 9, 10, they might offer 300,000 for the house, list it for sale at that sales price and might only get 280,000. So the sales price is what a buyer and a seller agree to sell the property for. The next value or price that we talk about is what's called an appraised value. An appraised value is what generally a lender is going to do is get an independent appraiser. Uh, lenders nowadays don't employ appraisers. They're all generally independent contractors that we contact and appraise the house. And they're the ones that look at the whole market to say, what is the homes in that area? What are they sold for? How does that compare to the home that we're looking at? So they come up with a true appraised value. That's generally what the house is really valued at or really worth. Um, because even though you might agree to buy the home at the sales price, lenders are not gonna give you money until they get it appraised and they're gonna base the loan off the real appraised value. And again, is there an always uh, agreeance on is the appraised value the real value versus the sales price? No, just because an appraised value comes in does not mean that's the real value. And this is where it gets really confusing. People say, well, I wanna know what the exact value of my house is. There's no exact answer to that. All of these are different sciences and formulas to come up with what the value should be uh, or approximate of that such. And the third item people throw out a lot is assessed value. And they say, well, the county has my house appraised at this. No, the county assesses your house. It's a different number. Uh, it's usually anywhere from that 90 to 100% of the real home value or appraised value, but not always. We see properties that are worth way less than that, and some are assessed at higher than the appraised value. Again, the county assesses how, homes, and they set a value, and they do their best job they possibly can to get as accurate as possible, but they're not going individually to house to house to look at it. There's no way for them to have enough manpower to look at every home individually and come up with a true assessed value. So they do blanket coverages, they do uh, formulations, Excel spreadsheets, software systems that look at neighborhoods, and they add different percentages and different adjustments each year accordingly. So a lot of times when you see your payment changed up or down, a lot of people get concerned and upset because their payment has changed. A lot of times assessed value on the house has gone up, which means your property taxes go up or your insurance goes up. And that's the last topic or last value that we're gonna talk about is replacement cost. So a lot of people think that now they're buying a house for two, $300,000, that the replacement cost 
to rebuild that home in case of a fire or total loss is going to be the same as what an assessed value, an appraised value, and a sales price is. No. And again, this is why it can be so confusing to use these different terminologies in real estate because all four of these values, sales price, appraised value, assessed value, and now replacement costs are going to be different numbers. But what are we talking about when it comes to replacement costs? That's the insurance provider. That's who's going to rebuild your home and replace the home and how much that's going to cost. So generally, as you would expect, replacement on older homes is going to be higher than the true value because you can't replace old brick or old doors or old crown molding or whatever else you may have. In generality, it's always more expensive to build a home later on down the road than it is today. It always has been and always will be because costs of everything goes up. So hopefully today we talked about a few different things um, of different values and different words and terminologies that are used. Again, sales price comes down to when you list a home for sale and what a buyer and a seller agrees to that final price of the home that they're going to buy or sell it for. Second is the appraised value. What is the home worth by an independent person that looks at the comparables either by an income-based approach, a sales comparison approach, or a cost approach. Those are three appraisal approaches that are used. Third is the county assesses your value. It's a different word than appraisal. It's assessed. They come up with a neutral value as well. Last is replacement coverage. Is what your insurance providers are going to say what your house is worth in case you have a total loss of fire or something else to return that home to its normal standard. Hopefully you learned a little bit today. We're big here at Mortgage Specialists on education and making sure that people have the correct answers. So feel free to call us at 402-991-5153 or you can check us out on our website at mtg-specialist.com. Again, also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. We'll check you all soon and talk to you next week. Thank you. Mortgage Specialists. Driven. Trusted. Reliable.